everybody out there in Premier Guitar World. This is Paul Gilbert, and I have been, I've received a request to uh, go back and show one of the guitar moments that inspired me at the beginning of my guitar journey. And not, I not only have that for you, I have the, uh, the story of the best day of my entire guitar existence, and that's when I figured out how to play that lick from Heartbreaker, Jimmy, Jimmy Page like that. That much of it, I, I couldn't believe that I could get my guitar to do that. Now, I, I remember, I hadn't, right there when I played it, I was doing the upward bend, where you bend up toward the sky. I, my, I couldn't do that at the beginning. I only had the, the downward bend. I was, so it wasn't exactly right, but just the fact that I could bend anything. You know, and, you know, you know later on, six months, it took me like six months or a year to get the upward bend. But just the fact that it was anywhere close to that, that sound, man, that was, that was awesome. Um, of course, as time went on, it, you know, it's got that. That's, that's not a small stretch. And you know, it's a stretch all the way from the A to the C. You get that open string. <laughs> so cool, that Jimmy Page. People hear that and think, oh, that's, I don't even have to do that. It's so simple. Let's just take a look. So the, the, the biggest thing I discovered, you know, I, somehow I figured it out to use the giant finger. You just put three fingers together. Like that. And I see, I see a lot of people you know, have the guitar way up here, and it, it tends to mess with the hand position. So a lot of times the, the, the second finger isn't on the team. And you know, there's probably other elements too. But t take a look at, um, first of all, the giant finger, put those three together. And the other thing, they don't have to be spread out in each fret, they can kind of be bunched up. I mean, this one, I guess maybe it's a good idea because you're, you're coming back to the C pretty quick. So you want to be ready for it. But if you hold it up there for a long time, they, they, can, they can be all bunched up. They don't have to be spread out. And the other thing is, is the angle of your finger. It doesn't have, in fact, well, it doesn't have to be like parallel to the fret. I kind of recommend an angle because that'll put that, that side of your finger on the bottom of the neck touching like that. Now, if you're playing classical guitar, this is, not, this is a whole different story. So, you know, if, you, if your teacher is a classical person and they said like, oh, you have to be, old. for classical, that's fine. But this is for Jimmy Page guitar, rock, blues. For that, you wanna, you wanna get this, and that way your wrist can do the heavy lifting. And it's not your little fingers trying to get it done, your, your, your wrist, which is a much bigger body part. You wanna use the big, body parts to, to drive, you know, when, when, if it, when something important, like, it might, I mean, there might be a little finger action in there, but it's mostly wrist. Let's take a look at the wrist. I'll, I'll, I'll move it over here. So let's see. You know, do that little thing. Now, the, what's that song? The knee bone's connected to the jaw bone or whatever. It's the, uh, the wrist is connected to your arm, your elbow and stuff. So it's okay to leave that loose. As I do that, I'm exaggerating because I'm teaching it to you. But let your, let your arms sort of come out. Don't, don't be all stiff and just expect your fingers to do all the, all the work. You know, you got a whole, whole body to you. And, you know, not only that, and with a dragon suit, I mean, <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy was a whole body thing. I was thinking about the other day, in, in, the, in the 60s and somewhat into the 70s, it was pretty much a requirement that if you were a lead singer, you also had to play the harmonica. And, it, it was, and in guitar, in the land of guitar, if you're a guitar player, it was pretty much required that you had to know how to do the duck walk. The Chuck Berry, you know, I, I, you know I'm close enough to the 80s where maybe I get an excuse. I never learned to do the duck walk, but I should. Because you, you look at Jimmy Page, I mean, he's, you know, in the dragon suit, he's in another era, but he still does the duck walk. And, and anyway, you know, his, his, his performance wasn't limited to fingers. You know, he's moving the elbow and doing the duck walk and the elbow, okay, if it, and plus he had down here. You know. 
you know, the whole thing. So, it, you know, allow, you know, these, these days, you know, not, we're not even allowed to get on a stage, but pretty, pretty soon it might open up and you can get that guitar low like Jimmy. On one other secret, now, to have your guitar low, that's, that's step one. Step two, high pants. Look at, look at those pictures. Google Jimmy Page, you know, live or whatever, and his pants are like up so high, so then it's the, it's the relation between the high pants and the low guitar, and you get this area, and, and the same thing with Neil Schoen from Journey. I love Neil Schoen, man. He's got the bend. Like <laughs> So good, you know. Back in, in the '70s, look at a, any live photo of Neil Sean. Low guitar, high pants. He's got suspenders to, to keep those pants up. Probably, the, you know, like the guy, Tom Schultz from Boston. I bet he had high pants and he had a low guitar. Anyway, you don't have to do this, but it helps. Okay. So anyway, we, we got uh, that. You know how to do the giant finger and the angled thing. So you got your this part like a karate chop, like upside down karate chop. And that way, you, when you bend it, look at that whole arm going. You, you know, imagine having to put that in tablature. I, I won't get into. I, I had a terrible thing I was going to say about tablature. I'll just let your imagination run wild. Tablature is not going to show you what to do with your elbow, but I will. So that's that's. <laughs> anyway, what do we where do we go from there? Now that's got a pull off in there, and again, pull offs. Hand position is really important. I said, you know, it's more than just taking your finger away and expecting something to happen. You get this little tap. Ding, 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 ding. That, if it's not the finger, it's the freaking wrist. It's, I mean, it's small. It's a small move, but it's it's the wrist doing it anyway. I'm sorry, I'm getting all emotional about these things. This is this is the best guitar day of my life. So that this is where the things came from. Now after that, you know, I'm, that intro, I started doing my Van Halen legs. And, you know, the, you can morph Heartbreaker into, into Eruption. I still love it. That's so good. Anyway, it's all nostalgia. You know, if, if you're my age, you, you understand. If, if you're a young person watching this, you're probably going, "What? What? Who is this accordion player talking here?" Um, but I just I hope that I was able to uh, convince you to listen to the middle middle part of Heartbreaker by Led Zeppelin and take you back to that. I was at camp, by the way, and I was eating fruit rolls. If, if you remember, if, if you would eat a fruit roll with your fingers, which you know, what are you going to use a fork? You take it out, it's got the plastic on one side, you rip off the fruit roll, apricot, and, and then you, I was imp I didn't want to like sit there and take little pieces. I'd just bunch the whole thing up and like, ah, take a, take a bite out of this fruit, <laughs> whatever you call it, a fruit, uh, or, uh, like ball of, of, of apricot fruit roll. And your fingers would get this sort of like fruit roll stuff on them. And then, you know, the thin layer, not, it's not, not like you can't see it. And, and somehow, my memory is like having that fruit roll stickiness on my fingers. It was dry, it was fall weather in Pennsylvania, out in the woods. My parents had rent, rented a cabin, somehow we're on vacation. I don't think I even had an amp. I know I didn't have an amp, but I figured out. <laughs> you know, that might be too much distortion. Let me turn that down a bit. And then if you don't have an amp, well, that was on my neck pickup, that's why. There we go. The, the, when, he, when Jimmy does like the triad or the, the chords, like chord inversions, like A, and he'll put third in, and, but he just picks it. And it, it works. You know, you can't get a bad note when you're playing a chord. And it, and it just like, 
fire. <laughs> Man, Jimmy Page, if you ever, if I ever get to see, well, the whole, you know everybody loves you. I do too. All right, so I've, I've talked enough. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Rock and roll.